Article 13. If you believe. Christ says, I am coming down to speak to you colloquially through my recorder at certain times to try to awaken in you the realization that all of your troubles, distress, and limitations are already within you. This is because your thoughts arise from your indwelling characteristics, and all that you experience in your life is the manifestation of your habitual thoughts and words. Many of you speak of having power, but what I am trying to give you is the most powerful truth in your universe. It literally makes or breaks your lives, health, possessions, relationships, and happiness. There are very popular talk shows seeking to help people change their perceptions, attitudes, thoughts, words, and actions in order to live more constructively and happily in relationships. The human mind is asked to dredge up enough energy and willpower to eliminate its own wrong thought patterns and words. Since all thought arises from congenital and planetary vibrations, this is a very difficult thing to do and few there are who manage to do it. There is also another way which, if followed consistently and faithfully, ensures that people will be successful in their attempts to turn their lives and emotional state around into that of success and joy. The way is Christ's way, which I have outlined in my letters dictated through the specially prepared mind of my recorder. This website has been Almost four years in existence, and during that time, people have tried to live according to the truth contained in the letters, and have reported great changes taking place in themselves, and in their lives and environment. Following Christ's way leads to a great deal more than simply being able to get on better with other people. It leads to an ongoing, yet secret, positive changes taking place in a person's consciousness, so that, after a while, they find that all, unconsciously, they are reacting easily and happily in more constructive ways to external stimuli. They find that the things which they have sincerely longed for are at last coming into their experience. They can carry burdens more easily, more certain of an eventual successful outcome. They spontaneously find that they reject old critical thought patterns with distaste. They wonder how they ever indulged in such destructive thinking toward others. Instead of personal change becoming a daily struggle, they find that there is some superpower, life force, divine consciousness entering in their minds quietly and silently, enabling them to find new happiness. My letters to the world are tremendously important and urgently required by those who can understand them. They go into the scientific facts already known to scientists, but they go beyond these into the true causation of scientific facts. They are vitally important because they explode old myths which have held people back in their search for spiritual truth. They explore the so-called mysteries of creation and life itself. Very importantly, they clearly describe the origins and true nature of the ego and the right way to deal with it when it hinders the best interests of the self. The letters also describe the origins of creativity and the ground out of which all created things have taken form and being. If you believe that I ever existed as Jesus in Palestine, Hopefully you will be sufficiently open-minded to accept that, when most needed in your world, I have indeed returned through the prepared mind of my recorder to speak to you directly. If you have no belief at all, unfortunately I cannot send my spiritual consciousness vibrations to enter your brain cells and switch your thoughts around or open your perceptions. To do this against your will or without your invitation would leave you permanently brain damaged. And until life experiences trim away your mental obstructions, you will remain unable to accept the great truths expressed in my letters. But you are as much within the radiance of my spiritual thought as are all others who gladly listen, hear, and follow my words. I am always here for you. 
But while you disbelieve, you shut out all spiritual insight emanating from me. Those who believe can be assured that my truth is real and valid because the truth I have set out for you as clearly as I can through my recorder was the truth given me in the desert in Palestine. It was as a result of this truth that I could come out of the desert and begin to preach and heal. I beg you, wake up. You can come to me for comfort, spiritual insight, and emotional strength. I am very much alive in celestial kingdoms. You can meditate and open your hearts to divine consciousness and receive its healing, guidance, spiritual insight. But you can only receive to the extent that you truly believe that you are able to make true contact with me and the infinite. But if you believe, you have but to ask, never doubting, and it will be done for you. It is my most ardent longing that you may heed these words, download the letters, and really study and practice all they teach you. I long for you to experience real happiness, real spiritual security, real fulfillment of all your needs in a way which will have no drawbacks.